Now, no strangers to the red carpet here on this show, and today we're going to do celebrity shooting. And we're going to try and find some celebrities out there. It's a part of the fun. This is what people do here in Living Out Loud. Breathing, sleeping to living it loud. <sighs> it rocks my world. Wait, who are you planning on seeing today? Will. Oh yeah, and what are you hoping? <laughs> Nothing, just the same. Nothing. Just photos, yeah. So you a celebrity spotter? No. no, just for Will. So this is the first one you've done? Um, no, we went to Planet Hollywood opening a couple of years okay, ago. Okay, yeah. and who did you see there? Will was there, Will, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, Shaq, yeah. Oh, Stephen Dorff, yeah. So you're hoping uh, he'll remember you from last time? Uh, Seriously doubt it. <laughs> no? So you got your pen, your cameras, autographs, yeah. everything ready? Yeah. Got what, you got CD a bag? Cameras. What have you got? Okay, CDs. He's got to sign all of those? Uh, just those two. And is this? Of Planet Hollywood. Oh, Planet Hollywood. Look, there he is, live. So you are a bit of a celebrity spotter then, really? Yeah, yeah, just for Will, just for Will. Yeah, this is what they have to do, brave the cold and brave the elements. We'll try and check out a star, no matter where they're from. Neighbours, who knows? <laughs> Now these girls, how long you guys been waiting for? Um, since about 4.30. No way. Yeah. <laughs> so who are you hoping to see? Will Smith. Just Will? Uh, well I brought my cousin because she asked me to bring her, so. So what are you going to do when he gets here? I don't know, wave hello. <laughs> Can you scream? Can you all scream? Pretend a Will's coming now, come on. <laughs> go on. Yeah! <laughs> that's it. That, that's the way you got to get his attention, you see. Now how long have you been here for? About two hours. Only hours. two hours. Only so two is hours. this the first time you've done this sort of thing? Yeah, it is, yeah. So you're not a, a celebrity spotter, really? No, not really. First time for me, but I'm looking yeah. forward to it. So you're just walking down the street and thought, what the hell's going on? That's right, mate. That's <laughs> I might as well stop, get wet, and uh, hopefully see a star. That's right. Well, mate. good luck. Thank um, you very much. Where's your camera? In the bag, mate. Wait. Oh, you bought the camera, so you are prepared then. Yeah, I'm prepared. A bit prepared. <laughs> Here we are, jam-packed behind uh, the media tent. We're trying to see Will Smith. Did you get yourself in a fight? No, I just I, I, I broke my hand playing football for Richmond Central. Only football? Well, you're not a boxer then? No. 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 Well, I can see why. You can't even play football properly, but try... Uh, maybe you should try boxing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People are screaming, people are pushing everything. We're we'll trying to grab an interview with Will. My first started fighting probably about two years ago. I had like no coordination. It was sloppy, it was nasty looking. And uh, it took me about probably about six months before I started to smooth it out and look good and look like a real fighter. But we trained for a year, I trained with him real fighters and I uh, got myself into shape and I, I can really rumble a little bit. And, and can you punch me in the head right now? Yeah, you want, you want one? Yeah, come, come. Well, just close your eyes, it's going to hurt really bad. <laughs> Close, but you're not close, you're not Will. Well, some people think I might be. Why's that? Well, the champ is here. I am the oh. champ. So you're here to see the movie? Yes. Are you together? Uh, is this we a are. date? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think he's Will? Do you think he looks like Will? <laughs> a little. A little? Oh, is that why you're with him? Yes. Oh. Is he a fighter though? Hey, no, we have charisma. Um, I don't have charisma? Know. Well, enjoy the movie, guys. No problem. See you in there. Thank see you later. You. told me about Australia. <laughs> uh, thank you all for coming. Um, the, the, this film is uh, the show of probably a year and a half of physical training, uh, dialect training, uh, Islamic studies, uh, that, that Michael Mann put me through everything. Um, <laughs> uh, 
he said, he said to me in, in our first meeting, uh, because I, I was a little unsure, I actually turned the film down about uh, for five years. I, was, I turned the film down. I just I, I couldn't see the road from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air to Muhammad <laughs> Ali. And uh, you know, it's just now this is a story. It just didn't, <laughs> I couldn't see it. First, what we were going to do is adapt the entire physical life of Muhammad Ali. We're going to eat what Muhammad Ali ate. We're going to, to sleep when he slept. We're going to run where he ran. We're, we were going to, going to spar the way that he sparred. We, we were going to sleep with the women he slept with. Everything <laughs> was wrong. It's to capture the physical life of Muhammad Ali. And from understanding the physical life of Muhammad Ali, we would take the next step into the mental and emotional. And from understanding the physical, when you understand what it's like to, to stand in a ring and there's a, a, a man on the other side that wants nothing better than to bash your head in, when, once you're in that physical space, you'll understand the, the mental and emotional pressure that Muhammad Ali must have had to endure. So ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, I present to you Ali. course another premiere it's all about premieres here tonight Alton John is going to be here up on stage for the Virgin Megastore opening we're going to check that out because we're doing celebrity watching What an entrance, and here we got Alton John, he's just popped up in the side as well. Right on! Right on! Thank you very much! How was that? Uh, I just want to uh, introduce you to Mr. John. Uh, uh, um, Americans uh, respond to everything that you do over there. Good. Good. Yeah. Why are you coming to Australia to do all that as well? I will. I you think will. I will next year. Maybe. You think that's sort of like a, a great starting point to start over there and see how they take and then bring it to Australia? Or? I think it could be either way either nowadays. Way. I don't think you have to go to America anymore. You can, yeah. you can do it here. Yeah. When are you going to do another song for us? Launching a new this one? Year? This year? Yes. So you've already done it? Pardon? Is it in the making or you've... In the planning. Planning. Yes. Fantastic. We need to see you back out there again. Okay, well, thank you very much. Welcome to Australia. Thank you very much. How does it feel to have the uh, Virgin store back in Melbourne? Um, I suppose the truth is it should never have left. But anyway, no, at, least, at, least, at least it's back again. And um, it's a great night. Um, the staff have done a wonderful job here. Um, You're always making a grand entrance. That's something that you always do. Um, I think if you believe in what you do, you might as well make a splash and let people know that um, know that you've arrived. And um, that is fun. It makes people smile and um, I enjoy it. <laughs> so you've gone pretty far with the whole Virgin Empire. Where can it go to from here? Have you got anything else in the plans? Is it Virgin the world, or it's almost that now anyway? Really? What else could you do? 
And I'd, I'd love Virgin to be known to be the most respected brand in the world. Um, and um, uh, and we love just taking on the chance in lots of different fields and uh, trying to stir things up and do things. You know, it's you do shock. <laughs> You're into stirring up what's going on out there, which is so good. And I think the world needs it too, because yeah. in the way that it operates, you, you're in there just niggling away. You've got Virgin Blue now. You must be very proud of that as well. Um, I think, yeah, I'm incredibly proud of the whole team that have uh, you know succeeded and already creating a wonderful airline. Um, the Mo Virgin Mobile team have got yeah. the fastest growing mobile phone company. So all in all, is huge for that. Done good. <laughs> and we love the fact that now we've got some cheap alternatives to fly. Thanks to you, we can get to Sydney for 77 bucks, which is great. Well, have a great launch. Thank you. Enjoy it. Thank Thanks, you. Man. We're chasing out at the moment. Sorry. Hi, everybody. This is Olivia Newton John, and you're living it loud. Now you've got a bit of an American accent there. Will you be practicing your Australian accent? I can do a good Australian accent. Okay, actually. do that. Hello, how are you? Good day, mate. Good day, mate. Do your come on, do your act. What? Oh, you know, Dal, put a shrimp on the barbie, you know. Oh, you have been practicing. And how much fun have you had here today? I've had a lot of fun. It's been great. And this, yeah. This is adult party so. so having like Olivia Newton John as a mum are you gonna pursue a career in television or singing or yeah actually I'm making an album at the moment so does that help though what does what uh, having a good mum <laughs> yeah know. she's really supportive yeah. and I've learned a lot from her so how do you find the industry though do they take you know do they go oh you know look, you can get in because who you are or is it no they not treat at you all. seriously for what you do do definitely I mean when you're really going for it people I mean, it gets you to a certain point, but when it really counts, you are judged for you, not for yeah. who your mom is. And what are you singing? What's your songs? Um, they're all different kinds of styles. They're not one particular thing. It's R&B, it's rock, it's pop, it's everything. I was going to say, you have a bit of an R&B twang to you, yeah. and I could see you doing the R&B thing. Yeah. You love it so much? Yeah, it's great. Yeah. And we don't get much of that down in Australia, no, really. Well, you've got Alicia Keys, yeah. you've got... But yeah. It's more American thing, definitely. which is definitely yeah. a good thing. So does that mean you have to get your hair in braids? <laughs> I reckon. I'll give what it. I can get a hair in braids. Oh, for sure. What would you do? You'd be the stylist, yeah? No. No. No, yeah. Why not? How did you get to be here? Um, good friends. Just good friends to give a free trip to Australia. Yeah. Oh, what a deal! You take your friends everywhere. Yeah. Good on you. Well, you could be a makeup artist. You could be the hairstylist. You'd be the roadies. Be you. Anything. Yeah, anything. They've got careers of their own. Okay. So. Enjoy them. Well, thanks so much, and have a great party. Don't drink too much. I won't. No, enjoy. Okay. Well, flying out of here. Well, I like living it loud. What about you? checking out Celebrity Watching and we've been to a few others and of course it's the uh, movie premiere of Queen of the Damned and we're going to check that out now and see what's going on down there. It's a life of star-studded celebrities. Blood is spilt on the carpet. The red carpet, well it's black with a bit of red but it's all happening here and we'll see if we can grab some of the celebrities at the vampire launch. Oh, oh excuse me. I suck, don't I? <laughs> kind of a bit, yeah. <laughs> so you're a goth as well? Yes, I am. Were in the movie? I was, I was an extra. Now what were you doing? Um, just standing at the front of the row and screaming for the How was it crowd. to be in the movie? Excellent, it yeah. was very good. So how excited are you to be uh, here tonight? Well, I can't explain it. I've got all butterflies in my stomach. Really? Yeah. It's your debut. I know. And what was your line? <laughs> Basically, something yeah, like that, yeah. yeah. Good idea. 
There's more PVC than you can... I can't do this. Hang on. <laughs> I need ones like yours. Now, what are you doing out this time of day? Uh, well, it's still a little bit light. but It is yeah. a bit light. So I'm a bit worried about this. Got Not the a sunscreen on, so... Oh, OK. <laughs> now, you get worried that when you get photos, your eyes got a little red. Depends but... on the camera, but that yeah. should be OK. Yeah. <laughs> so were you in the movie? Yeah, I was, yeah. What were you doing? Um, I was a goth extra and also a vampire extra. So, OK. Did yeah. you get to bite? No, I didn't. I just got to stand there and look menacing, so... Okay, so how did you get that part? Um, I wonder. Um, basically, they uh, sent a, the production company sent a few people around to a lot of clubs and approached people and said, look, you know, would you like to be in a film? And <laughs> most of us laughed, but yep. um, they went to a club called Abyss. A um, like gothic club? Yeah, just yeah. a gothic club, yeah. So, so you're gothic by day? Um, yeah, and, and night, night, of course. <laughs> Have a look at the queue waiting to get inside. And, uh, I mean, you've done two Woody Allen films now. Do you enjoy his style of uh, filmmaking? Yes. Stuart, you're starting to play a bit of a villain in your characters. Yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, protecting my uh, throat just in case. Are you getting comfortable with those roles? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a long way to continue, you know. Do you like playing a villain? Yeah, yeah. It's much better than playing the nice guy, isn't it? Why is that? Everyone prefers the villain. You know? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Do you think you make a good villain then? Uh, well, let's hope so. Yeah. If there's anyone I'd want to bite, who would it be? Probably Serge here. I mean, <laughs> sorry, Serge. You'll take anything, will you? No, no, no. That's terrible. All right. So, what do you? Uh, what did you think of the movie since you've seen it before? <clears throat> um, I only saw it last week. Um, I mean, it, it, again, because I'm an Anne Rice fan, and also I'm obviously with the music side of it, and the fact that um, Aliyah, who um, is an incredible talent or was a credible talent, and to see her in this acting role playing the Queen. Is that hard? Yeah, it is hard because um, you suddenly realise what a, an amazing young talent uh, has just gone now from the world stage because um, she truly is, um, I mean, her performance in it is fantastic. She's very believable, uh, looks amazing. And when you consider the talents that she also had as a recording artist, it's, it's very sad. Yeah. And especially you see them on screen, bigger than life and still moving. And yeah. how do you relate to that? It's hard. Do you close off and just sort of watch it as a movie or...? Um, I couldn't actually because I just felt a sadness there, you know, and obviously this is the role that she plays because, I mean, it's, 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 it's returning from the, like, literally from the dead and, and playing this role and then knowing the reverse now. Do you think it's in good taste still using her in the movie? Um, I think you have no option and I'm sure that um, her family would have uh, wanted the movie to be released anyhow because um, th it does show what an incredible talent she has, you know. Well, thanks so much. You're in the film? Yeah, I'm a liar. <laughs> yeah, I know you're a liar. She's lying. Now, what are you expecting to see tonight? I've read the book and it's absolutely fantastic. So oh, she don't have your fangs in. No, I don't have my fangs. I've come straight from Ramsey Street, so oh. it's not quite appropriate. Is that why there. you're looking a little pale? Yes, no, exactly. Are getting in the mood? Exactly. <laughs> oh, very much in the mood for the movie. I'm just a shame I didn't get a chance to go home and get frocked up like everyone else. At least. Oh, look, you look color. great. You got yeah. the black on. That's the main thing. Yes, of course. You've rated the dog collar. Yeah. yeah. Or dog. Yeah. Who's dog? Bob the dog, Bob of course. The dog. Yes. Now, do you are you a fan? of horror movies? I am, well, I'm a bit... Do you scream? I don't scream, I just sort of... <laughs> renders me breathless. Oh, come on, give us your best screamer. No, he knows, I he's laughing, I think he knows what you sound like screaming. Anyway, have a great night and enjoy it. Yeah. Thanks. nervous getting doing the concert scene but this is <laughs> this is way worse. <laughs> um, so I guess I'm gonna keep it short okay don't worry. I managed to work with a um, really amazing woman who sadly can't be with us tonight and but she's here with us in spirit so you know that's what we're doing this for. Um, I hope there's loads of cast and crew out there, you know, um, just to say thank you to everyone. <laughs> yeah, I hope he's here as well. Mike, are you here? No, no, don't come on, actually. <laughs> Michael. Thank <laughs> uh, uh, you. Um, your support and most of your patience. Cheers. Thank you. Hope you enjoy the film.
We're here at the 50th Film Festival. That's right, about half my age. Sure. Anyway, uh, people are pouring in here It's because uh, it's pouring outside, pouring rain. Every time I seem to do a premiere, it seems to be raining for some reason. So we're just packing them in and um, moving them in by droves. Show's starting next week. Yes, How's very exciting. Yeah, what's happening About this time. season? We've been yeah. on there for a year. I was going to say, yeah. what's happened? Why? Um, oh, look. You're asking too much money again. Oh, I wish. <laughs> um, it's just the way it panned out with the network. It happened uh, last season as well. You know, um, Water Rats sort yeah. of moved into our time slot at the 9. You're in competition with them? Or? No, we're not. We were actually a good double yeah. with them at 8.30 and 9.30. And so once that moved up, we were kind of without a place. So, so what do you do when you're not, what, when you're off air? You just sit around? Just, or? No, you just keep working. We've you're all finished. We're on yeah. holidays. So oh, now you're on holidays. Yeah, we're all on holidays. Now you're coming to a premiere like this? <laughs> yeah. You're not in any of these movies? No. Why not? I uh, know. Why not? And is this your strapping uh, this chaperone? Is this is my husband. Your husband. Mm, yeah. Oh. You got a good a deal, didn't you? I did very well. Just getting a little crazy here. We've got Morgan Freeman here from uh, Hollywood. Big star. Oh, I'm sorry to disturb you. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? Good. What brings you here tonight? This is a big night for you. Uh, this, is, um, this is um, Nurse Betty it's appearing here. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what brings you to Australia in general? I'm doing a promotional tour for Along Came a Spider. Along Came a Spider. And when you play villain or? No, I play a policeman. <laughs> A policeman, yeah. like the role. Now, this is your lovely wife here behind you? Yeah, this is my Yes, wife and here, yeah. how are you doing down Hi. here? You're living in the limelight back here, aren't you? I'm in, the <laughs> in the shadow. In the shadow. <laughs> I'm so close to Hugh, I can almost touch him with my fingertips. And behind him is uh, John Tavolta, not too far behind. They're just doing what we call media row, so they're just going from one to another and... Uh, talking all about their movie. <laughs> You're in a nice shade. Red. <laughs> yeah, how are you going? How does it feel to be back in Melbourne weather? Perfect. This is what it's meant to be. We totally planned this for you guys. Thank you, mate. How are you coping with the new stardom? Um, well, a nice like tonight, it kind of, it, well, it's a little surreal, a little overwhelming and, and terrific to get the recognition, but uh, most of my day-to-day -day life, you know what, with Deb is baby, normal day-to-day -day life, so it feels... Do you think it's taken a long time to get to this stage? Oh, yeah, 10 years. Yeah. So oh, that's nothing, though. <laughs> yeah, it is nothing, but it's not quite overnight. Okay, thank you. Thanks, thank you. So how's things going with your career? Things are really good. I got the Soul Kitchen, I've got a band, yes. my album comes out soon. How do you fit it all in? Um, I don't know, I like to be busy. Actually, my clairvoyant said I was going to be busy and I thought she was cracking Pretty jokes. Nice, yeah. She's not joking. No. No. So when is there time for yourself? Um, what do you time. do? When you oh, have time yourself? Really, you don't know what to do, do I'm you? I'm such a vegetable. Yeah. I laugh because I'm so not a pop star. I sit, yeah. on the, I sit on the couch and watch Jerry Springer. Oh, with a pack of chips and a... Yeah. Oh. So you're a bit of a trailer oh, trash, the are you? I shapes the other day. <laughs> Aren't they good? Barbecue? Oh. What's your flavour? What's your flavour? Barbecue. Barbecue, yeah. yeah and I agree. pizza. And pizza. Yeah. And Jerry Springer. What a combination. Jerry and I think we should do that in your next video clip as a scene. What do you reckon? Oh, uh, yeah. Like... Fluffy slippers. Yeah, and just Tra going In a trailer. trailer. White trailer trash. Yeah, white trailer trash. I want to be some white trailer <laughs> trash. Don't we all? Don't go there, girl. Talk to the hand. <laughs> well, enjoy. You're having too much fun. I am. You're the funnest person I've oh, spoken to. Oh, thanks so much. Tell us about this show you're doing. Oh, why? Why? Why not? Well, why not indeed? Um, well, more, the, more so the songs as well. We'll, we'll, we'll oh, start look, with songs, the show. TV, it's all happening, yes, darling. It's all finally. happening. It's finally. You're a bit of an angel. It happened to me. Um, I, I am a bit of an angel. I'm in a show called Undercover Angels for yes. Channel 7. Who does good deeds for people. We do, we do good deeds for people. It's a fabulous show. Jackie O, Min Simone, Ian Thorpe, for those of you who love Ian yes, Thorpe. Well, we can, I, can I just say, yeah. he's a darling. He is. He's an absolute honey. He's so beautiful. A bit tall for you. He is a bit tall for me and, yes. and probably won't go there. But anyway, he gave us a little bit of a little bit of an end of series present. He bought us all an outfit. Oh, no. What, what have you got? What better? Pair of togs. What? better present to get any woman than clothes. There Can I go. just say, Ian Thorpe, 
love your work. Good on you. Doing well. So, now, you're singing. Finally, we get to hear you again. Yes. Love, love, love. Yeah, singing. Uh, have a new single out soon. Yes. Well, out on radio out, now. Yes. Called Beautiful. You wrote it? I did write it with the guys from Disco Montego. So, very groovy. Bit of a dance track. Bit of a bit of a shimmy. Bit of a well, we like that. A little bit disco. I'm going to the States next year and I'm going to study over there. Study what though? Acting. Acting. What, they didn't, didn't learn anything from Neighbours? I learned a little Does bit. say about Neighbours, it's really <laughs> shit and I didn't learn how to act and I have to go to America? Oh, there's one style of acting, but... Um, oh, American accent acting. We're, we're both too busy at home watching Channel 31. <laughs> My show, of course. Of course, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Nice to meet you at last, Thank right? You. <laughs> oh, you've just totally embarrassed me. That's have okay. I? Why? Because you haven't got your American accent? Yeah, I have.